G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's an interesting three-dimensional geometry question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Three mutually tangent spheres of radius one rest on a horizontal plane. Okay, so three spheres sitting on a tabletop or something. Mutually tangent, so I guess they're touching each other in a little triangle. A sphere of radius two rests on them. All right, so I've got three spheres, a little triangle, and another bigger sphere sitting, I guess, in the hollow uh, above them. What is the distance from the plane to the top of the large sphere? Okay, I'm suddenly going gulp. Um, let me try to draw a picture, but I have a feeling my picture's about to be disastrous. But we've got three spheres just touching other little sort of triangle. Bad. I'm trying to draw a three-dimensional picture, so this is on a plane. There's one sphere with some center, one sphere with some center, another sphere with one center. And what we're doing is coming along, oh, before I forget, each of these is radius one. I know, so one and one. Oh, okay, so I don't know why, but I just drew the centers. The centers must make, make a little triangle, one, 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 one. It's an equilateral triangle, side length two, all right? Uh, but a big sphere comes along, and now, now comes the mess, sitting on top of that hollow. It has a center two. Ugh. All right, disastrous picture, but somehow the question wants me to figure out from that picture what the distance between the plane of the table and the top of that sphere. Hmm. Well, I did draw the centers. I might as well just do that. I guess I'm doing strategy number two because I really have no idea what to do, so I'm just doing something, drawing a picture. Um, so here's the, here's the centers, the triangles on the bottom. And we saw radius, radius, so that's side length two, radius, radius, side length two, side length two. We've got the center of a bigger sphere at the top, Oh, I guess I could draw the line connecting its centers to each of the other centers, and I guess it will go through the point of contact. Oh, There's probably some geometry theorem that centers of spheres connect each other lines through the point of contact. I suppose I should prove that, but it feels right. Um, radius 2 and radius 1, so this is a, a length 3. Length 3, and at the back we've got length 3. All right, so that's a tetrahedron. Less complicated than that picture. Still hard to read because my picture is lousy. Um, and what's the question want? What is the distance from the plane to the top of the large sphere? Oh, well, I've only just drawn the center. So this is actually part of a sphere. So this actually goes to the top. Is another radius high. And that was, what, two inches high, or two units high. And these are spheres of radius one. So the bottom of the table is one inch below. Oh, if I can work out the height of this tetrahedron, whatever that height is, then all I have to do is add one and add two, and that'd be the question. So this, is re oh, so this is really a question not about spheres, it's really about the tetrahedron made by the centers of the spheres. So I guess I'll try to draw a more decent 3D picture that I can understand. That looks more like a pyramid. We're told the space lengths are two, and the side lengths are three, or the, what do they call the lateral edges are three, and we want the height of this thing, which would be something like you know, the tent pole, if this was like a circus tent or something. I want that height there. That feels hopeful especially since we have an equilateral triangle on the bottom. I bet I could probably draw the side length here and do something about you know, 30, 60, 90 triangles or something, get that length. Oh, then I have a feeling everything's going to fall into place. It's going to be beautiful. In fact, I'm going to stop there. I'm excited. I'm going to do this on paper. But I suggest you give it a try as well. Can you finish up the details of this question? Get the height. If I'm wrong, then we need to think of another way of getting to the height. But I have a feeling this might work out. So double check me on that. Get the height, and then let's compare answers. Oh, don't forget to add 3 to your height. That's the answer to the question. Yeah. So compare answers that go in the, uh, in the essay with this video. This is kind of cool. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.